Hey, you've heard of forced marriages and unhappy endings? How about for sales? Not just in Dubai real estate, but anywhere else in the world as well. And perhaps unhappy endings with regards to forced sales. All right. I'm going to talk about and recount an actual event that's happened uh, and share with you a little background. It's going to give you some food for thought and perhaps a few learnings so that if you're a seller in the market, you might be seller beware. Now, before I cut to the showreel, if you'd like to sell your property and you want an advisor to strictly give you unbiased advice, hit the link below and obviously hit the like subscribe and bell icon it does something to the algorithm others who might not know about this video will actually start watching it show real first Hey guys, okay, so welcome back. So I'm gonna actually tell you a story about a townhouse, okay, in one of the most prominent communities of Dubai, okay, and an agent who's been working in this community for a decent amount of time, okay. True story, I kid you not, okay. So here's here was a seller who had a fairly large plot of land, okay, with his townhouse. However, on the backside was a road. Okay, like a main road, okay. Which actually caused this piece of ha land, this piece of house uh, not being so popular in that community. Now, I heard this account firsthand from the person, from the agent who was actually uh, talking to me and his personal situation was uh, he'd been on a two month hiatus from the market. He was just back and he needed to get some money to actually get things going for his business again, okay? He took a buyer to this property. The buyer actually did not want uh, a house facing the main road but he convinced him and he actually convinced him to actually put an offer on the property. Now here's the story. It's not to do with the buyer, but it's actually to do with the seller. The seller actually did not want to sell the property anymore, but the broker told him that, listen, I've been advertising your property for the last X number of months, which was actually not true. And we've received no offers. If you don't sell now, you might not be able to sell in the next two months, six months, eight months, or one year. Now, I'm not gonna mince my words. The broker had his interests. Perhaps they weren't aligned with the seller's interests, but he actually forced him, almost forced him to sell. Now, in the long term, is it good for the seller? I don't know, but I do know a couple of things that I would measure the sale by. Is the property in a good location? overall in a good community, overall by a good developer, and you, can you get a decent rental income from the property, okay? If it's a good asset that's paying you good income, then it's not the best thing to actually sell regardless of what stories most of the agents tell you, okay? Now, this could have been an actual genuinely good deal. I'm not gonna hold the broker at fault. Maybe he was genuinely giving good advice because he is an expert in the area, but this is food for thought for you. A lot of my clients get approached by a lot of agents who keep telling them, look, now's the time to sell, now's the time to sell, now's the time to sell. The agents are trying to build their inventory so that they can actually sell and cater to the buyers who are in the market, and that's perfectly fine. But you've got to always recognize yourself as the seller. You've got to recognize if selling a property actually truly makes sense for what? For? Right, so, so that you're not just forced to sell, you need to actually consider your personal, financial, and then to buy real estate situation. Okay? And then see if actually selling 
is the right thing for you to do because if it's not then you're getting rid of an asset that you should be actually holding everything isn't meant to be sold sometimes you can hold and a lot of the millionaires the billionaires actually hold real estate or they actively manage it and sell it when it should be sold not just because an agent who wants to make some quick bobs convinces you to sell it there is a link below if you want unbiased serious advice from an advisor me and my team would be happy to help you hit the like subscribe and bell icon don't be forced into selling your property ciao for now hey guys thank you for watching the video i hope you liked it my name is Fad Daud. i've been doing this for 15 plus years I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.